Hello everyone, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Gaming Robo. Guys, welcome back to another live stream. It's our second live stream in a row. Now guys, just before we do carry on with this fantastic live stream, please make sure that you do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and with the notification bell, make sure that you select all for the notifications. Now guys, just to give you a quick recap, Obviously, we are starting in Division 2. Hello, Simon, dude. Hello, mate. Um, we're starting in Division 2, and uh, we're literally just getting into the first game of the season. And our first game, we are away against Cambridge United. So we are literally just trying to set up the team for the game. So we're going to be playing Chris Brandon, David Batting, Andy Williams in central midfield. I forgot his first name then. Um, so we're going to have... Butra and Dunwell up front. So let's see, we'll have uh, uh, Pat McGibbon, Valdea, oh, I don't know, maybe Mal Dalgleish and Kenny Miller. So, the position we're going to be playing, guys, is the 4 3 1 2 formation. No Wib Wob is involved in this uh, formation, but I'm making sure that David Batty does run back down into defensive midfield. All about football management games. Hello, dude. It's been a few, it's been a fair few streams since I've last seen you pop up. I hope you've been all right, dude. <clears throat> So we are going to start, oh no, we haven't done our set piece taker, have we? So we need to see who is the best person at set pieces. Andy Williams, I thought you would have been better than that. <coughs> we'll keep it Steve Halsham for the time being. <coughs> right, here we go. First game in Division 2. How are we going to get along? Jarvan, 1-0. It's only taken 11 minutes to open the score. In Division 2 for Telford United. It's only been one shot throughout the whole game. Uh, let's see now. So Jarvan's doing alright. I just don't know who's who's the best person to uh to have in uh in, in, in left back either Wayne Carlisle or Callum Davidson because I mean Carnu is a really good right back but he's also good at centre back as well as defensive midfield so I'm still trying to work out obviously where's going to be the best places for everyone to go ah uh, Simon I, I, I hope we're going to score lots of goals at the moment it looks like uh, Cheltenham not Cheltenham Cambridge are parking the bus against us at the moment but Dunwell scores on his debut get in Dunwell now, I've never had Dunwell and Butra partnership ever before. So it, this will be interesting to see whether or not if these two can actually play together. But 2-0, we're third in the league. Plymouth Argyle, that's a dirty team for me, being a Talk United fan. Followed by Sheffield United and then us in third spot. Nigel Martin appearance at 38 years of age is Tel at Telford's away game against Cambridge in the second division is a new record. This team, all we're doing is just breaking records every single season. Yes, Dunwell has done well. Oh, I just realised the pun there. Didn't mean to do that pun, but yes, he did play well. Uh, Sinner impresses scouts. Yeah, I've got a keeper for the season. I'm I'm happy with having Nigel Martin for the time being. I know having Nigel Martin is really a short-term fix. You know, I think we we can all we can all admit that, obviously. So I will be making an announcement, guys, at the end of the stream as well. So make sure that you are here for the end of the stream. So bringing in some uh, some scouts. I've brought in, uh, I think I've only brought in a couple of uh, coaches, or we're going to be bringing in a couple of coaches. Alloway, again. This is someone that I was, I'm literally thinking of having for years to come for Telford. I'm going to have to bite the bullet for uh, for Alleyway to have that minimum fee release clause. I'm going to have to bite the bullet for the time being. 
and then give him a different contract as soon as he's uh, joined the club. So Andy Morris, he looks like he, he's going to be a good coach. So, uh, so we're bringing him in as well as uh, Donald Malamo Paris, who once again looks like he's going to be an outstanding coach for us. But don't forget guys, make sure that you do smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group already, we're literally just shy of 600 members on the Facebook group. The link is in the description down below. Click on the link and then join our brilliant uh, Facebook group. I've got one too many coaches now, have I? Uh, Andy Morris is good. We already know Donald's good. Ian Alexander, Roger Pre Priest, yeah, Roger Priest is going to have to go. The legend Roger Priest has left the club because I need a better coach. I don't know what's going up with my mouse at the moment. It's having a mind of its own. This guy, Velic, he is literally going to be someone I'm going to try and develop over the, over the coming seasons. I don't know why I look at Velic. And to me, I'm thinking um, Anderson, the old Anderson from Sweden. I, I look at him and think it's him. He's got a minimum fee release clause. I need to change that. Make you sign a £240,000 signing on fee. Have no minimum fee release clause. Christian Rossati. Okay. But guys, also, with the TGR That's Gaming Robo channel, we are only 16 sub new subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers. So guys, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you do subscribe to the channel because it means the world to me. Honestly, it really, really does. Hello, Wayne. I'm good, dude. How are you? Well, I'm getting better. The cough is starting to go slowly but surely, but we're getting better, dude. I hope you're okay. Uh, let's see who Alloway still snubs again. All right, just sign that. I'll give you what you want, exactly what you want, and then I'll make you sign a new contract again and get rid of your minimum fee release clause. Right, he's rejected that, so we'll go back to there, get rid of that. My mouse is really starting to annoy me now. And get you to have maybe oh that's way too much 320 300 odd thousand now oh, why is it going up what well, loads like that and 2600 weekly wage Our second game, we're at home against Port Vale. Uh, Rusk is still injured, but Halsham is back. The Brandon will go on the subs Brent on the subs bench. Halsham is back in the starting lineup. How long till Rusk is back? Just a few days time. Yeah, I'll, I'm all in the men, do Just drinking plenty of water and coffee and just taking whatever rest I can do. And keeping busy, that's the main thing. Other than that, you know, you just you just got to get on with it when you've got a cold or flu, don't you really? So our first home game in Division 2. How will this come about? And Jarvan again, 1-0. Jarvan puts us in the lead. Men, hello, dude. Butcher, 2 now. Thank God. I was starting to worry that maybe him and Dunwell may not perform well together, but maybe they will. Maybe they will. Now we just got to see Dunwell score in the same game as Butcher, and then maybe I can uh, get rid of whatever fears I may have about them two partnering up. 
but it is 2-1, they have pulled a goal back, so I'm going to put Kenny Miller on, I'm going to take Davidson off, put Andy Williams in left back, and put Chris Brandon back in central midfield, just see whether or not if that, if that's too much, or Boutra, 3-1, get in! Even though it's only been a couple of games in the season. Oh no, it's 3-2. Port Vale won't give up, will they? Come on, Telford. Come on. We've got a very experienced team. Jarvan! Jarvan makes it 4-2. Boudreau with a hat-trick. Get in, you little beauty. We've got very experienced players in our team, but it's still Jarvan and Butra who are the main two that are obviously still banging in the goals for us at this moment. 5-2, what a victory. And we're top of the table by goal difference. And look who is behind us, Rushton and Diamonds. <coughs> So we are looking at Michael Dobson as well. I don't see Pat McGibbon as a long-term successor in central defence. Ellie's DV House. Hello, dude. Michael Dunwell is the manager of your local team in real life. Dude, that is, uh, that's, that's crazy, that is. Have you, uh, have you had the chance to meet the guy at all? Yes, yeah, Simon, go Jarvan. He's obviously learned from his anger management courses from getting sent off so many times. You might try and buy Butra for your River Plate game. What a striker. Yeah, dude, he, he, he's... I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm so thankful that Rick uh, recommended him to me because Butra has been absolutely amazing. Right, well, I'm going to put Velic in on the subs bench for the for the next game. I'm going to see what he's like, but I'm still hoping that Dunwell and Butra will work together. Have a look, everyone. Oh, David Batty. Uh, I'll let you play this game, Batty, and then you're going to have to have a rest. So back at Cambridge United for the League Cup first round. Min Goodmunda is a decent centre-back that will actually come to Telford, you think? Oh, OK. Well, we will have a look at him. We will have a look. <clears throat> it's coming up to half-time. It's still nil-nil. We've had all the possession. All right, Velik. I'll give you a chance over Dunwell. Will Velik do the job? Have I found my own super Swede? Ah, oh, it's coming to the 70th minute. Still nil-nil. Chris Brandon's coming on. Davidson's coming off. And Williams is going back at left back. Cambridge United have still had nothing against us throughout this game. Oh my god, Jarvin in the 90th minute. 90th minute, we win 1-0 in the first round of the League Cup. Absolutely incredible. Oh, Ellie's DV House. You're an ex-referee. You used to ref the National League and the fourth official league one and two so you met him many many team many teams over the years his brother was a decent center half as well oh really he must he, 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 he i'll tell you what i'm i'm quite jealous of that i'm quite jealous that you've managed to uh obviously meet him and so on So what, uh, I, I'm assuming that you uh, no longer doing the refereeing anymore, Ellie's DB House. Uh, 
uh, driving, driving. In the future, I highly recommend Roberto Stallone and Alessi from Napoli. Two hidden gems, Imo, but Stallone only performs with good players around him. I will definitely have a look, dude. Uh, please remind me momentarily. Just trying to fix my uh, my mouse here. So I have had one person mention a player to me earlier on. Uh, Met. Oh, he does look good, doesn't he? Relegation release clause, 70,000. I know they're not going to get relegated anytime soon. I can only offer 1.7, but I've offered, I've given it offered 1.5. We'll see how that uh, how that goes. Right, so drive in, drive in. I will have a look at the players like you've uh, mentioned just a second ago. That's a shame. He's 2.5 million. Is there any sort of like no? Nah, there's no sort of other releases. We'll have a look at Alessi. <clears throat> oh really? Right, we'll go to uh what is it, Napoli, wasn't it? And let's see. Two million as well. I do like the look of them, dude. I do like the look of them. obviously the problem being that obviously we don't have over one point seven million pounds to spend, unfortunately. Fulham in the in the second round of the League Cup. Wow, we. You retired last year, Ellie. Um, my daughter Ellie. My phone is logged on into her account. Decided she wanted to play, so we made a team. And she's not attacking midfield for. She's not an, she's not an attacking midfield for Billingham United under 12s. Much better than driving to Wrexham on a Tuesday night. I, I, yeah, I can imagine that, dude. I can only imagine. <coughs> Mind you, though, driving to Wrexham, you never know. You might get the chance to meet Ryan Reynolds and his mate as well, who's taken over Wrexham. Yeah, definitely. I will try again there, driving, driving. Definitely so. Right, Alloway. Right, we need to try and give him a different contract <clears throat> because I'm not having him with that um, minimum fee release clause in in place. <clears throat> well, three games, three wins so far in Division Two. Obviously, one of the games was in the first round of the League Cup but now we've got a second round tie against Fulham to look forward to in the League Cup as well at Craven, Cro at Craven Cottage so we've got a big venue to hopefully get a lot of uh, money from in that game and Chelsea beat Roma 1-0 Emmanuel Petit so they've got Pablo Amar they've got Danny Murphy Patrick Berger that's it really that's it and Alan Kelly and Anders Selgren who's in their team so Roma had no Francesco Totti that's a big that's a big thing so Sean Alloway signs the new deal he's not gonna have that minimum fee release clause thank the Lord because he's definitely gonna be a keeper that we're gonna have for a long period so we're against Notts County away from home in the next game now we should have Rusk, yes. Oh, who wants Chris Brandon? Port Vale does as well. So Oberg, put you in the reserves. See if I can loan you out just to try and get you some experience. But Helder Rosario is back as well. He's a good. He's a cracking centre back. Put you on the subs bench for this game. Sean Alloway could be number 13. <coughs> Don't forget guys, make sure that you do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers on my channel, so please make sure that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell and select all for the notifications. 
But it's coming up to half time. We're still 1 0 up against Notts County. Oh, no. Neil Sorvel equalises right before half time. Right, Helder Rosario is going to come on. Give Canu a rest for this game. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but I'm going to try making Batty do the forward run up to attack in midfield. See whether or not if that is going to help us at all. So I see Notts County's got Tim Sherwood playing for him. Thing is, who's a better defensive midfielder, would you say? Tim Sherwood or David Batty? In my eyes, it'll be David Batty, but is that because I'm... Is that because I've got him and I'm biased? Right, this Dunwell and Butra partnership is not working, is it? We've got a draw. We're still top of the table. But this Butra and Michael Dunwell partnership is not working. Don't know what we're going to do about that. Just trying to think. I mean, we did four one two one two during the uh, friendlies. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put Dunwell on the subs bench for this for the next game. Yeah, dude. Um, on training section, you can go on unused. Oh, I didn't even say what it says. So once you go on on, on unused, go edit. You go new position and literally just say midfielder, centre, uh, train. Uh, if you're putting them in midfield, then obviously you'd want to make sure that they've got um, intensive on skills. Still making sure that they get their fitness up. You can put tactics on there as well, but it's not you know um, a necessity obviously. And then you just drop the player in that you want uh, that you want in there. To be fair. I think Rusk is giving himself a shout to start in this game. Andy Williams can go in left back. Davidson can have a rest for this game because Burnley's going to be a big, big game. You'll be fine with the eight strikers. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, dude. Is that striker from HJK Helsinki still available from them? He should nearly be out of contract by now. Oh, no, Nigel Martin sent off. Sean Alleyways um, going to make his debut against Burnley and he saves a penalty get in Alloway oh my god what a way what a way to start your debut for us the first touch you get you save a penalty right Rusk is going to go in defensive midfield Callum Davidson will swap over with Batty then swap with Andy Williams. Oh, 1-0 to Burnley, 25 minutes gone. Jarvan equalises, it's 1-1. One, one. This might be a difficult game for us. I will have a look, Wayne. I will have a look at the uh, end of this game. You can train uh, Ellie's DB house. You can train players new positions on the training page. Yeah, it takes ages though. You have to play them in a new position. Yeah, it does. It does take some time, dude. But obviously, um, unfortunately, it's just one of those things, really. Can we get a late winner? No. I felt that we were the better side towards the end, but we've dropped out of the top of the table. We're, we've dropped into the playoff places. My, no, what did he do to get sent off after seven minutes? It was brought down in the era by Martin. I'm not being funny, but 
I'm not letting that. Three weeks without David Batty. So Simon Rusk is going to be our main defensive midfielder. Right, well, let's have a look at that um, Helsinki player. Was it HJK, wasn't it? Wayne, do you remember which striker it was? Because I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I cannot, for the life of me, remember who it is. If it was uh, Roya, he's contract for another year. Paulson. Hayoka. I can only assume that it's Roya. I might be wrong, dude, but if I am, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> Hello, Matteo. Yeah, Roya, he's going to be another year. Another year. I can I can try with the one point one million pound minimum fee, but I just want to see whether or not if I can get Butra and Dunwell to work together. Talented Makoku. Should have joined us, Makoku. Blackburn signs Nicholas and Elka. So we have done quite a big, uh, you know, a big influx of new players into the team. I know it's going to take some time for, you know, some of these players to gel, you know, with the rest of the team. But I've just seen Butra's injured. Shocking. <clears throat> shocking, shocking, shocking. We may have to look at going back to Fury of the Beast for this next game. Alright, so Sean Alloway is going to start because I feel that he was uh, brilliant for uh, for that time he came on. Helder Rosario and Kanu. Oh, you've won the, you won the UEFA Cup min with HJK. Oh, that's cool. Right, okay, so Rusk and Halsham. Then we will have... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Williams, Jarvin. We're gonna put we're gonna put Dalgleish up there as well. Done well up front. And then we'll have what James, Brandon, and Kenny Miller. Get your keeper us on penalty. See if anyone can beat. My keeper hat trick from yesterday. D that, dude, that's you, was it? <coughs> dude, I, 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 I would never. I've never had more than two penalties in a game. Michael Dunwell wakes it one nil. Get in, Dunwell. keep seeing Kerr but yeah Scott Kerr it's not Mark Kerr should have realised that what's happening with Dalgleish I'm not seeing him being mentioned at all alright Kenny Miller we'll try Kenny Miller I see they've got Scott Huckabee. <clears throat> Come on, Telford. Sean Alloway's doing well. He's keeping a clean sheet in his first full game. Come on. Come on. Dunwell in the 90th minute makes it 2 0. 
whole uh, bottom, wrong end of the table, but still. We're back in the automatic promotion place. <coughs> we are scoring goals. We are scoring goals. I think we just need to find the right balance for the, for the team that we do have at the moment. That may take some time, of course. Koji Nakata see he does look brilliant but I haven't got the money to try and buy him <clears throat> remember like I said at the beginning of the uh, stream guys I will be announcing something at the end of this stream so make sure that you do uh, stay tuned with us all the way up until the end uh, it's going to be a little bit of news that I've been looking forward to do for some time um, hopefully you guys will like it as well Min Balesco has come in so if you don't want to play Nigel Martin again you could eventually yeah um, Balesco he I think we got him on a contract in for November haven't we yeah <clears throat> So we've got him coming on the 23rd of November. Yeah, so you are right with that, men. I do have Nigel Martin as a player coach. So hoping that, uh, you you know, you do your nostalgia sort of, you know, type of way of thinking. Hoping that, you know, legends like Nigel Martin might be able to show the youngsters, the young keepers, how to play or how not to play. Obviously, it will never work like that, will it? <laughs> want to see who we're playing next I want to I want to face Fulham in the League Cup in the second round Oh, tough game. We've got Watford next. Christopher Canoe's old team. Oh, Butcher is back. Brilliant. Michael Dunwell go on the subs bench. Uh, we'll start Kenny Miller in attacking midfield. We'll see what he does. He's come from Rangers, so hopefully, you know, he can you know he can do the business for us. Get in, Halsham. Oh, of course, it's offside. Chris Holland makes it 1-0 to Watford. Of course, their goal's not offside. It's only my goal that's, uh, that's ever going to be offside, isn't it? More direct type of play. Chris Brandon's coming on for Kenny Miller. Min, also you could sneak Habib Jafar past the work permit process. Do so. He is great. I'll have a look at him after this, dude. I don't recall seeing his name before. Come on, Telford. You cannot let this happen. Coming up to the last 15 minutes, are we going to be suffering our first defeat of the season at the hands of Watford? Halsham's injured again. Right, Carnu, who's playing man of the match performance against his old team. He's going to have to go up in defensive midfield. Helder Rosario comes back into, into the team. Rusk is injured for fuck's sake team mentality dude is attacking get him Boutra equalises in the 81st minute can we go on and win this game now come on Telford give a little bit more no 1-1 it finishes 
that was a tough game that was a tough game but <clears throat> now I've got all three of my defensive midfielders out injured <coughs> that is absolutely ridiculous right let's have a look at that player min that you said Sebastian, I'll give it a try in the next uh, in the next time when I well when I play Fulham next. Uh, Habib, so Min, what's so good about Habib Jafar? Can you? Oh, hello, twenty-seven assists last season for Ansar. So fifty-seven since we've started doing this this stream. Yeah, but let me know, um, Min, like I said, let me know, dude, what is so good about Habib Jafar? I I would love to know, and I'm pretty sure, you know, some of the other players would like to know as well. Carlin, I just saw that, you, uh, that you're that you on here, dude. Hello, mate, you all right? Rabbi yourself for a spare striker. Dude, I've got enough strikers at the moment, but I'll have a look at him. We'll have a look. Swedish and Swedish and Syrian. We'll give him a scout. A little bit nervous now because we've got no defensive midfielders apart from uh, my youngster James, who we got through the academy. Carlin, you having a go of Hereford at the moment? Are you? What have you done with the Hereford team at the moment, dude? Uh, have I got any other defensive midfielders? Neil Moore, a youth player again. <clears throat> right, so James and Moore are going to be my defensive midfielders for this next game against Sheffield United, I think, it, I think we're playing against. I'm going to put Dunwell in over Kenny Miller. Oh no, we've got Kanu as well, though, haven't we? That's a bit stupid of me. Right, we'll, uh, we'll put Neil Moore on the uh, subs bench. And Chris Kanu can go in defensive midfield. Yorin K, hello, dude. Try Marcin. Har yeah, I, I know about Marcin. Uh, get in, Boutra, get in. Problem is with Marcin, he might have been... Oh, for fuck's sake, he might have been bought already. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Ellie's DV House, for fuck's sake. The words of every manager ever to play the game. I know. Get in, Michael Dunwell. Right, let's see. Let's see. Let's uh, see everyone's conditions at the moment. Right, the only one I'm worried about is Helder Rosario at the moment. He's got a yellow card. Oh my god. You're having a giggle. My little youth player has got, has got his first goal. But now it's 3 2. So I can't be messing up. Oh, I'm going to say it again, Ellie's, D, Ellie's DB house, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Right, Williams is going to go into left back. Chris Brandon's coming on for uh, Callum Davidson. Sheffield United's equalised. It's 3-3. And I can't even blame the fact that I've got a youngster playing because he's scored. He's doing well. That is disappointing. They've had three shots on goal and they scored with every single shot. I've just been CM'd once again. We've let in a lot of goals this season. So, Carlin, you're trying to do a safe start with a bankrupt conference team using only freeze, doing okay for now. <laughs> Dude, I'll, uh, I'd love to see how you progress with that. Thanks for laughing at me, Ellie's DB House. Thanks for your uh, thanks for the support there, dude. 
Uh, hello, mate. Game file at 2498. Um, dude, let me know what, you, uh, what you're trying to say on that. Sorry, mate. Pamungus for striker. We'll have a look at Pamungus. He doesn't look that bad as well, does he, really? I mean, his uh, stats could be better for the goal-scoring ratio, but I'll definitely give him a scout. <coughs> right, Chris Brandon's going to start over Michael Dunwell. I think Andy Williams is going to have to play at left-back. And uh, Dunwell's going to have to go back. Yeah, of course. We'll have Darm there. No, in fact, Velik. Matteo, what's your record with views in a live? Oh! Um, with people viewing all at the same time, I'm not too sure. I haven't really checked, to be honest with you, but um, at the end of a stream, I've seen um, views emerged up to 600 at the end of a stream but I know for a fact that obviously we didn't have 600 people all at the same time <coughs> Williams makes it 2-0 Jarvin's back in, in on the act as well keeping the same team against Norwich City it's obviously working well by having Williams playing at left back so I can't change that and Chris Carnu playing in defensive midfield is obviously working as well. So Velic is going to come on for Butra. Butra hasn't done anything in the game so far. So for the last 10 minutes, the youngster from Sweden will hopefully make a name for himself. Llewellyn makes it 2-1. They've got four minutes to go to level it up. No way. Helder Rosario ends the dream for Norwich City. 3-1. Three, three massive points here today for Telford. Look at that. It's all looking so close already. I know it's only been a handful of games so far, but still. Ellie's DV House, you're smashing it. If you did that with Telford in real life, they'll build a statue. Round the line there once. Lovely ground. Easy Football League standard. Oh, is it a nice ground? Is it? Have you ever... Obviously, I know you probably haven't done so, dude. But just a quick one. Have you ever officiated or done uh, assistant linesman job over at Plainmore at all? Or Talk United's ground? There is a reason why I am asking. But obviously, when, when you answer it, I'll let you know why I've asked. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. This is the game that I've been waiting for. We're going to be playing against Fulham at Craven Cottage. David Batty's still injured. You bastard. Come on. Just trying to see if there's anywhere. There isn't. No, there's no one else that I could use. Right, Telford. Sebastian, I'll do what you said. I'll go normal. <clears throat> Get team instructions done. Put Chris Brandon on because uh, he's got 13 on set pieces, which is the best out of all of them so far. Until Halsham comes back. Only ref them once away at Gateshead and once at Grimsby. I'll see if not come down to play more before, dude. Oh, James is injured, so Neil Moore's going to have to come on. I thought I'd put Neil Moore on. Come on. Oh, dude. Your grand lived in Paynton, dude. That's not that far away from me. Um, only, oh, oh, I'll tell you the reason why I was asking. 
it's just the fact that um, I'm going to go attacking on this because I feel that we could we could probably nick something from Fulham today. We're definitely playing better. Because um, one of my mates I went to school with and his dad um, worked for Devon Football Association and they're both uh, qualified referees and they both said that um, <clears throat> referees coming to play more, uh, League Cup dreams over. Uh, professional referees coming to play more, they hated play more the most because our fans were the ones that were 2-1, get in! No. Our fans were ones that were heckle abuse at the assistant referees or the referees or throw food at them as well. Not that I condone it, but the fact is that professional referees hated coming to talk United's ground the most, which uh, kind of made me chuckle a little bit until I heard about that. <coughs> Jafar is probably the best value for money signing you could make on the game, I think. So despite his stats, do get him if you can. Okay, dude, I will take I will take that as uh, a message from you to say basically sign him. Jafar. <clears throat> See if they accept 18,000 first of all. So no right back, no defensive midfielder. Okay, so Callum Davidson with Williams. <coughs> David Batty's back in the starting lineup. Uh, go direct again against Plymouth <coughs> sorry about that I've got a little coffin fit going along now Christopher Canu scores his first goal come on Telford after a little, little disappointing display against Fulham we lost only just 2-1 Let's get back into winning ways and start smashing Division 2 up. <clears throat> get in, David Batty. <coughs> Ellie's DB House, haha, that's brilliant. I always found Grimsby and Tranmere to be the worst, based in North East. So, would have to be too expensive to send me to talk AR. Fair enough. Am I considering getting Psychalco in the future for Telford? Um, to be honest with you, dude, I've purposely tried to stay away from Saigalco because it, um, obviously, you know, with him, you, you're guaranteed to get goals, 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 don't you? But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if, uh, you know, if I get to the Premier League with Telford, you know, and I hit that uh, point where I'm like, okay, I've done everything with Telford. I'm going to look at doing a, someone else, a, a different team, hypothetically. You know, depending if Saigalco is still playing then. I might I might look at him for his later years. Helder Rosario makes it 3-0. But we shall see. We shall see. <coughs> 3-0. Great, great, great win against Plymouth Argyle. So we are the only undefeated team in Lee in the second division. I'll take that any day of the week. Yorin K, are you playing with the version with the strong Greeks? If so, Dukas and Skelidis. No, dude, I'm not. I'm playing the point six zero, basically the original database. So they're the one. That's the one where you can have like. Um, uh, Kim Kallstrom as a, as a, an attacking midfielder, basically the Super Swedes, isn't it? The Super Swedes database. <clears throat> Chris Canu is injured for two months. Absolute balls, balls to them. <coughs> Uh, 
I was thinking about getting Justin Walker into the team, but no chance in hell I'll ever be able to get him. Alright, oh, I know. Oh, he's got no minimum fee release clause. Good, that's what I like. Brian Puntre, no. So we'll see if uh, Jafar will join us with this uh, work permit issue. We'll see whether or not if uh, if it does work still. Hopefully it does. Cause he's only had, he's only played one game there. That's the thing. <clears throat> Look at that Dundee knocked out Dortmund in the first round of the UEFA Cup. Oh, we're at home against Barnsley next. Chelsea signs Simone Inzaghi. Brilliant. Right, defensive midfielder. I need a defensive midfielder. Uh, I'm going to have to play more at right back. Uh, Michael Dunwell, I oh know he's, he needs to be an attack. He needs to be a striker, but I've got to change that back to direct football. When I look back on the tactics page, another good win, please, like we did against uh, Plymouth Argyle Telford. That would be absolutely brilliant. More, I hope you do good playing it right back today. It's a really important position for you. Oh my god, Lund makes it 1-0 to Barnsley. Get in, Dunwell. Get in, you little beauty. Shut that Andreas Lund up. Sirs, 1885. Hello, dude. Masampo and Vampetta. Dunwell again. 2-1. Get in. <clears throat> Nathan Blake. I hate you. I hate you. Bino and Jamie Victory. We had Jamie Victory before, didn't we, dude? Um, and then uh, he, he, I had to accept uh, an offer because it hit his minimum fee release clause. Ever since, that's why I've been really uh, on it with these uh, release clauses. <clears throat> Craig Donaldson, you might do a conference team save, but only players that can come in is from the Youth Academy. No, oh, dude, that's uh, that that's a good challenge. That is a very good challenge. Oh, go home. Seriously. Our first defeat of the season at the hands of Barnsley. I'm absolutely gutted by that result. <coughs> well, I'll have a look at some of these players in a second. So I've got to go back up to Sirs 1885. So Sampo and Vampetta, we will have a look. Uh, let's have a look. So, Masampo. He looks alright. I mean, if if I had um, if I had wingers, I'd, I'd I would probably look at him definitely. But I don't have a formation with wingers, unfortunately, dude. We'll have a look at Van Petter. I'm going to assume it's the first one. He's at Valencia, though. Unless you do mean this one. 
I'll give him a little scout because he is cheap at the end of the day. Binho, um, yeah, I, I remember Binho. He's a Bari. Is that the right one? I don't think it is, is it? No, it's this one, isn't it? I know he is good. Simon recommended, uh, recommended him. He's, he was very, very good. Uh, Danny Jones, dirt cheap. We'll have a look at Danny Jones quickly. Oh, come on. Okay, let's have a look. Is it the one that used to play for Farnborough? I'm assuming so. If I'm not mistaken, Benfica B and Porto B have some great DMCs. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's right, Jason. Sorry. Uh, Ladesma. Right, we'll have a look at him. Would help if I get rid of the last name, though, wouldn't it? Okay. How are you spelling this, Christian? No, he's not on there anymore, unfortunately, dude. Uh, Ferry Bode, we'll have a look at him. Uh, double D in it. Okay, Ferry Bode, I can't see him. Favourite Finnish footballer ever, Yari Litmanen. Um, yeah, to be honest, it's one of the main ones that I can recall. Farnborough one, that's the one, okay, yeah. <clears throat> Joe Batista, Gremio. Whenever I see the name Batista, I think of the the wrestler from WWE and the guy who did uh, Galaxy of Mars or Mars Galaxy, whatever that um, film was called. João Batista. There's a few of them, isn't there? Gremio. He's listed for loan, but I can't have him on loan, which is ball ache. Uh, I'm going to go with your recommendation there, sirs. <coughs> I think he means Christian Ladisma from River Plate. Okay, Wayne, I'll have a look. go by name so there's Sebastian we'll have a look at the outgoing one see if it's on there oh there he is oh hello I can only offer one point bloody seven now that's the problem I'll have a look again for you there, Yaren. Oh, we'll just type in Bode. Doesn't look like uh, he's on the game, dude. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, dude. It uh, doesn't look like he's on the game. Uh, Hoy Rat Journal, I use uh, Galact. Yeah, 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 I, remember. I think I remember this one actually. Galact. Oh, hello, what's going on with this now? 
chalice. Ah, oh. how old was he? Um, Hoy Rat Journal. Because for some reason it's not finding him there. Uh, Kanku. Oh wow. Oh yeah, he's going there, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, Lacey. Yeah, he's a good and cheap as well. <laughs> Batista, is that the fat guy who always eats cheese before a fight? I don't know if he eats cheese before a fight, dude. I'm not too sure. Oh, I loved. I, I loved. Um, no, he wasn't in the 90s. He was in like 2000 onwards. Batista. Right, Wayne Carlisle's back. <coughs> Right, Rusk is going to go on the subs bench. Team instructions go direct. Galacteros is 15, 16 years old. Okay. For some reason it's not showing up. Unless uh, I, I spelt it wrong. I don't know. I'll have another look in a second. But Brandon and Butra. Puts us 2-0 up against Colchester United. Cracking start. With Wayne Carlisle back in the side as well. Just makes it that little bit better. Especially with him being a solid right back for the team. Butra makes it 3-0. Get in. <clears throat> Uh, Velic will come on for Brandon. I'm going to swap Butro with Velic as well. See how Velic gets on with uh, Butro and Dunwell in behind him with Jarvan. Velic, he scores his first goal. Get in. Didn't Batista play Baddie's henchman in Bond's move of Spectra? Uh, do you know what? I don't know if this is shameful or not. I haven't watched all the James Bonds. I I, I can only watch that sort of stuff when uh, when the wife's at work, and then in, and then when she's at work, I've got I've got to deal with the kids, haven't I? So I don't know if I I don't know to be honest with you, Wayne. I will find out though. Um, right, we're gonna have another look at this uh, Hoy Rat Journal. Good luck. Just start with Galak. So I don't understand why is that. Hoy Rat, do you know what um, database Galacteros is? Ah, there we go. Rick knows. Yes, he did. <laughs> James O'Connor, listed for loan. Try and get him on loan for the season. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt us, is he? Sean Davies. He's over at Grimsby. Oh, he looks good, and he's just joined Grimsby as well. That is a massive shame. Thank God, Rick, you knew that, because I, I, that would have annoyed me for ages. That would have done. So, offer Binho a contract. He's not interested in doing a rotation. Balls. William Gallas on the move. If I had £4 million, I would have tried and signed him. Yeah, I'm probably the Super Greek State Base then. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> right, so we've got James O'Connor. He looks like he's going to be a solid uh, defensive midfield for us for the next four months. No worries, dude. No worries. I mean, I've got the point sixty eight database on the uh, on our system as well. It's just the fact that I haven't I haven't um, up. I obviously I'm using the point six zero at the moment, but 
I'm definitely going to do a, a point. I'm gonna, definitely going to do the Greeks, uh, the Greeks database one day soon because you know just the fact of being able to use a player like Skeletus and Maxim Saigalko is not the superhuman goal machine beast on that one, is he? So I'll definitely try that one again one day soon. Wayne, and he also played the hero in a film called Final Score. I've seen, I've not watched Final Score, but I've seen like, um, you know, the thumbnail going through Sky and whatnot. It was filmed at Upton Park as well, was it? Ah, oh, I never knew that. So I watched the, um, the new zombie film that he was in. He was, he, he's basically a former army guy and he's, and at the start of the film he works in a burger, burger bar, whatever it was. I thought that was pretty good for a, for a zombie film because most zombie films bore me to sleep. Bino snubs it again, right? I have to wait till uh, I can give him a different squ uh, squad status. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. I didn't I didn't even think about that. Yoren, that is a good shout. Something that's so simple that yet yeah, I completely forget about <clears throat> Hertha Berlin signed Thomas Rosicki oh hello don't go too fast right <clears throat> okay so Carlisle, Wendy Williams, and then we will put O'Connor in defensive mid, Howsham on the subs bench. Ah, uh, God. At least you could play. Now, I'm going to put you in on there. Yeah, that's fine. James O'Connor's number seven. Uh, at home against Blackpool. Hopefully we can get a good win after that. Um, who did we play in the last game, actually? I know we won 4-0, didn't we? Because Velic scored his first goal. About time and the, other, the opposition team gets a player injured rather than me. Come on. Fucking 11 shots and we're not doing anything with a Butcher is fucking injured. God, I picked that up too much, didn't I? Saying that the, the opposition team's got an injury. Get in! James O'Connor scores on his debut. Keep the same team for the time being. Hopefully now we've we've opened up a wound and we're going to be acting like sharks and going in for the kill now. Yuri Dmitrylin from Kiev. We'll have a look at him, sirs, after the game. Come on! Really? Get in, Michael Dunwell. Get in, you little beauty. bring on a sub I don't like oh fuck off no way Halsham's coming on oh, I'm absolutely mortified by that Chris Brandon's coming off I know it's not his position but hopefully he might be able to do something come on Jeez Louise, 2-2 two -two against Blackpool. This is what our season's going to be like, isn't it? We're going to be inconsistently, we're going to be in consistently inconsistent. Butcher is out for two weeks. Yeah, it was a nice debut. <clears throat> oh, I'll have a look at him. So, Yuri...
yeah, he can be he can be someone for uh, for a good couple of seasons. Definitely playable in in Division One. Who's the other one? Says um, Geo and not have I've not come across that one before actually. How is he dirt cheap? Likes a bit of him. We'll see what happens. FA Cup time. Who have we got in the first round of the FA Cup? Wrexham. Yeah, Wrexham. I mean, we can we can do it against Wrexham without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, then that's going to be our next game as well. No, oh, no, it's next month. I saw the 20th and I saw that we're on the 17th, but no, it's the next month. Three hundred and seventy five thousand, but I don't want to offer him six thousand five hundred as a wage though, because it's way too much. <coughs> Geon is excellent, but you have to spend some money for him. Okay, men. I noticed it was uh, rejected there. We'll try four hundred and twenty five thousand. Liverpool signs William Gallas. Right, so we've got no Butra. So Michael Dunwell, you're not going to be playing in attacking um, in uh, attacking midfield. You will be playing up front. So we will put uh, Davidson, Carlisle with Williams there up front. Michael Dunwell. And with the team instructions, I'm going to put Chris... Brand oh, James O'Connell, what are you like? 12, no. Chris Brandon in on the other side of the set pieces. Here we go. Can we bounce back from that uh, disappointing two-all draw against Blackpool? Get in. Williams makes it 1 0 in the 16th minute. Urin K. Pamungus will be a top scorer every season if UVC. I mean, the Dynamo team always have Vashuk and Holov as a good centre back. Dunwell's injured. No! <sighs> Velic. Can sign him. He's Asian Saigalko. Okay. <clears throat> Keeping the same team. But now Butcher is injured. As well as now Michael Dunwell. Not a good. Not a good start so far to Division 2 for these two. It was occupied by a uh, Russian army in March during their invasion. They left the village in April. And when Yuri got back, he found out that... Oh, I want to find out about this. All, all about football management games. 1-0. We got the victory, but um, I'm now worried. Oh, he's out for 10 days. <clears throat> what did Yuri find, find out when he got back, dude? Are oh, you going now, Yuri and Kay? I know I'm at, I am having a lot of injuries, Matteo. It's uh, it, it's it's quite annoying. Pamung. I haven't had any uh, scout back for him yet, but I will. I can always sell Kenny Miller. Because um, I can get good money from him, can't I? 230,000. Minimum fee release clause of a million. Geo and transfer bid rejected once again. Ah, all of his collection of football t shirts were stolen. Only one left, owned by Yap Stam. Ah, oh, mate, really? That's a massive shame, that is. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, being you reject right indispensable member now we can finally start talking cook something up relegation release clause zero sirs Igor Metreski or have a look Oh, he looks quite good, doesn't he? He, he does look like a solid centre-back as well. Let's see if they accept that. Who's our next game going to be at? Home against Peterborough. Yeah, that is, that is true, dude. You are right on that front. You know, he's still alive. From uh, you know, from that torment, you are right. Uh, Habib Jafar's deal has been cancelled. Yeah, if that's what it takes, we'll try that. rejected two million pound bid so now no Michael Dunwell so Velic is gonna start I'm gonna I'm gonna start Paul Dalgleish actually who is right so Ashley Williams tell you what Sean Alloway he's been uh, he's been a good goalkeeper so far definitely feel that we need to uh, work on our defense Velic Get in, you little beauty. 1-0 is second goal for his new club. Roman Vasily Vasilyuk. He's like Saigalko. Okay, we'll have a look at him at the end of this game. Neil Fenn. 1-1. One, one. Get Come on. Right, okay. We're going to do something... Um, Kenny Miller, Dalgleish. Get in, Chris Brandon. Um, I I did try just before I started doing this stream with Telford United. Obviously, you know, just before we did the very first stream for them. Um, but my championship manager sort of glitch it was just being all weird and whatnot so I had to uninstall it and reinstall it again um, I will look at doing it again soon it's uh, it's just something that I've not really thought about properly to be honest with you well how do you do how do you do what Matteo do you mean the coloured attributes gonna see who else is gonna be um going to see who else is going to be contract expiry in December as well uh, he's rejected me oh no don't want that right let's see expiring El Hadjouf has anyone ever, has anyone ever actually bought El Hadjouf before Lumana, Matthew Jones, he looks uh, he looks okay for Division One standard. If we can get to Division One, and is it Chris Rigger? He's a good centre back. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him. Paul Konchesky. Ah, oh, Lucarelli. It's a shame you're 29. Peter Enkelman. James BT. There's not a lot after that, is there? Simon, what are you say no to, dude? No. 
no. None in Barra. Go ahead. Knock your socks off. You can sign John Taylor. Not an issue. Rushton and Diamonds. This is the game that we have been waiting for to see if we are good enough to beat Rushton and Diamonds. Uh, this this is annoying me. Put user in timeout. There we go. You can't send any of those types of messages. Love chats dot x y z. Absolutely ridiculous spamming that crap. <clears throat> so I see Velich makes it one nil against Rushton. Sorry, I had to. I had to stop someone from sending all that crappy spam Stuart Wardley's equalised get in Chris Brandon you're starting to show up in this season now keep the same team I'm hoping Paul Dalgleish can do something in this game you never buy the guy you mentioned which guy was that dude can you remember says uh, you will be surprised how many guys who is over 30 playing in this game so don't hesitate for 29 year olds one okay okay what the uh, Lucarelli one Jarvin makes it 3-1 Dalgleish oh, I'm so happy I left you on the field Dalgleish makes it 4-1 comprehensive victory over Rushton and Diamonds at Nenny Park They're amusing. We need. We all need girlfriends. I'd rather play Champo. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Velich is on fire when Butcher is injured. That's right. Rocco V and B. Hello, dude. Telford Champions League winners 2011, 2012. What is that? What you've done, dude? Or is that what you? That's what you predict. <clears throat> Michael Dunwell resumes light training. Butra praised. How long am I going to be able to keep Butra? Last season was fantastic for him, but this season he hasn't really he hasn't really come out of the traps yet. Andy Richmond. Rob, what about the end of the game announcement? Don't worry, dude. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten that. El Shah guy, or what his name. Rocco VMB, that's your prediction. Okay. That's your prediction. Alright, Simon, let's go back. Let's see which one that you're on about. Right, I'll go back. What? El Hajj Juif. Is that who you're on about there, Simon? Uh, if anyone has ever bought El Hajjouf before, let me know because every time I see that he's always got personal problems like this, uh, I don't know if he's like a, another Nicholas Anelka on the game. Rocco VB, I tell you what, I want to beat that prediction. I would love it to be a lot sooner than 2011, 2012. I'd love it to be a lot sooner than that. He's got no intentions in leaving. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll do this, see if this will work. I should sign Juve purely because it will be funny. <laughs> uh, this El Hadj played for Liverpool, as I remember. Yep, dude, you are right, he did play for Liverpool. Alright, oh, we'll try 7,000. We'll see whether or not if he accepts 7,000 as a basic salary. Salvatore Fressi. So he's rejected that as well. So we're obviously not a big enough team for him to want to join so far. It's a shame. I mean, if uh, someone, some, I think was it Yoren, Yoren K, he mentioned he was basically the Asian version of Maxim Saigalko. 
might have to wait a season to see if that is the case or not. Daniel Nardiello is going to go on the, on the reserves. I can't have a screen like that. Okay, so we're keeping the same. Oh, no, Butcher is back, isn't he? We'll put Butcher on the subs bench for this game. At home against Tranmere, we might have Butcher featuring later on in the game, but Velic is now starting to find his goal scoring shoes. So hopefully, Velic will continue that in this game. Still 0 0 against Tranmere, a little bit worried about that. Butcher's going to have to come on. David Batty, 1-0 just before half-time. As I mentioned, Butcher will have to come on because Velic only had two shots. None of them were on target. That cannot happen in this team. Only one shot on target, and that was by David Batty as well. Come on, boys. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Again? Is there going to be late drama in a new Bucks head? There isn't, is there? It's going to be a draw. We're still second. But Bristol City does have a game in hand, which would put us put them level on points with us the only thing that's sort of saving us at the moment I mean we've got plus 21 goal difference and they would have to score a truckload just to overtake us <clears throat> so Min you said you've seen Bambag sorry Bambang played live against Vietnam your home nation okay several times very good poacher and he always scores against you ah oh. what team does bam bang play for dude david sereno drogba david suarez all from Cannes. yeah Cans actually. Uh... David Suarez at Orcs Air. I don't see Drogba. I swear he's on this game, isn't he? Art Le Mans. Rushton got to the third round of the League Cup and lost to Arsenal. How gutting is that for Rushton and Diamonds, especially if they played at their own home ground. Chesterfield's Andy Richmond's going to join Sunderland in the Premier League. What, to be behind Yertsy Dudak? That's not going to be good for him, is it? Only Suarez from Cairns, yeah. Uh, Bambang is the Asian David Collins that's just reject rejected me. Ah, right. God, I want to get to the next game. Marcus Tudgay. Right, someone mentioned Marcus Tudgay to me a couple of uh, streams ago. They mentioned that he is really, really good. 
So I I missed out on him last time, so I'm going to take the plunge and get him now. Does anyone recall who it was that recommended Marcus Tudgay? Right, Kanu's light injury. Right, swap Carla at left back, Williams at right back. What's wrong with Rosario? He's homesick. Oh, seriously, mate, go away then. Michael Dunwell back in the starting lineup. Can we get a good win against Northampton? Get in. Jarvan makes it 1 0. Jarvan again. His 10th goal of the season. <clears throat> Hasn't Northampton Town got um, Justin Gorslin as well? Yeah, they have. 3-0. Velic goal was offside. Thanks to Michael Dunwell. Williams makes it 3-0 now. Butra is coming on again in the second half. Ellie's DB House, yeah, I know his finishing was seven. I mentioned, um, I don't know if it was less than that or might have been slightly more than that. I don't know if it was seven or not when he was recommended to me, but apparently he is a really, really good player. So uh, I, I was going to just take the plunge on that and just take a little shot in the dark. 5 0, Jarvin scores a hat trick. See, Butcher scored his eighth goal of the season. Dunwell makes it 6 0. Absolutely emphatic win here today. Should have been seven, but Dunwell's goal, um, Velich's goal was offside, thanks to Michael Dunwell being offside. <coughs> Bristol City drew with Reading, that helps us tremendously. So we've got Bournemouth and English Vans trophy. Rushton won it last year. So we're getting close to the FA Cup first round game as well. That's not going to be that long as, from what I gather. So Bristol City, then Wrexham in the FA Cup. Then we've got Wrexham again a week later in the league. Looking forward to the, uh, to the FA Cup. So we'll get to the guy on the 31st of May. What was our position in the FA Cup last season, in fact? Last season, we got to the fourth round. So, we're going to try and beat that this season. Try and get past the fourth round. Any, uh, any shock defeat? Stockport only lost 1-0 to Liverpool. Wigan knocked out Sunderland in the, in the League Cup on penalties. Wolves knocked out Ipswich. Wow, that's a couple of big, uh, big defeats, that is. <clears throat> don't forget guys as uh, all about football management said earlier um, I will be doing an end of game announcement so make sure that you do stick around till the end of the game and whilst you're at it if you haven't done so already please make sure that you do smash a like on this stream uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new we are so close to 2,000 subscribers on my channel so please make sure that you do hit the sub and select all four notifications once you hit the notification bell too guys <coughs> Bristol City this is going to be a crunch game they've got a game in hands and we need to uh, knock them back a peg or two Valverde is 
good on the left wing. I know I I know I don't play wingers. Um, I play obviously a lot central. To be fair, I did used to play the the old Christmas tree, but oh, I've stopped playing the old Christmas tree. Minimum fee release clause two and a half million, but Norwich wants him. Shoot. <clears throat> Uh, Matteo, the stream will end after the first round of the FA Cup, and then I'll do the announcement, dude. <coughs> so Butra is on sub bench once again. If he's if uh, if depending on what happens, well, I might be playing Butra in the starting game. Start the game with Butra in the FA Cup. Still no nil coming up to half time. Butra is itching to come on. He knows he can break the deadlock at Bristol City. <clears throat> come on, Butra. Get in, Jarvan opens the deadlock, it's 1-0. And Butra is in on the act as well, 2-0 in the 80th minute. And now it's 3-0, get in Butra, 10th goal of the season. Bristol City could not hack us in this game. Sheffield United beat Norwich City 2-1. So we're still two points behind Sheffield United, but at least we've got a little bit of distance between playoff places and us now. <clears throat> so the next game, the FA Cup game, guys, when we play uh, Wrexham, will be the last game of this stream. But uh, make sure you do stick around because we will be making an announcement after that game as well. Dennis Dolby why does it's obviously a regen but I don't know of who try and get him you're only getting £600 a week Sheffield United made an offer for Wayne Carlisle rejected The only way you're going to get Wayne Carlisle is if you hit two and a half million pounds. Not that I want them to actually buy him for two and a half million pounds, but that's the only way where they, they're actually going to get him. Ah, oh, Leicester City's going to get Dolby, whoever that regen is. Only four days away till we play the FA Cup. Are we going to get to the fourth round? Oh, can we beat what we did last season, get into the fourth round? Or are we going to get knocked out in the first round? So we got knocked out in the qualifying round in the first year of this of this uh, stream. Got knocked out in the, in the first round in the second year. Then we got to the fourth round last season. And Chelsea's going for Dolby, so he's obviously got to be good. And Besectas wants him. Preston wants to buy Butra. Rejected. You ain't ever having Butra. And Wilberton wants him as well. Here we go, FA Cup day. So Christopher Canu is back. I'm going to put Canu in central defence for this game. Um, Dalgleish can go on the subs bench, and Butra can start. <coughs> Why 
once again. I'm so sorry, guys, that the someone continues to uh, post crap on the live uh, on the live chat, guys. I do apologise. I've removed him from it now. Ellie's DBLs, thank you so much, dude. That uh, that that does mean a lot to me, mate. I'll continue to try and uh, keep you guys entertained. Serve 1885, Piri is very good, quite an old one though. Matteo, come on, Telford, Piri is great, yeah. Is that Piri that plays for uh, South Africa by any chance? <clears throat> I think he's free at the start of the, uh, when you start a new game, isn't he? If that's the one that I'm, if I'm thinking right. All right, Chris Brandon's doing naffle in this game, so Paul Dalgleish is coming on. Get in, Boutra. Get in, you little beauty. <coughs> Min, you always sell Boutra before your team reaches the Premier League, so you're not sure what his absolute ceiling is. Kanu makes it 2-0. Get in. Dal Gleish gets in on, an, in on the act as well. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I'll, I'll like to see if I can keep Butra up until then. But if he wants to leave, then I'll let him leave. But until then, I'll try and keep him for as long as possible. Ah, we're through to the second round of the FA Cup. That is absolutely splendid. Just before we do make the announcement, guys, I'm going to see if uh, we can find out who we're going to be facing in the second round of the FA Cup. Rick, I'm currently dating Champ Man anyway. That's what the wife says. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Dude, the amount of times my wife said that to me. Scarborough. Scarborough in the second round of the FA Cup. That's not bad. Right, guys, I've got, like I said, um, I've got two uh, announcements to... Well, I said I've got an announcement to make, but... I've got a second announcement to make as well. Just before I do that, all about football management games... I wonder if Butra can be can be good in the Premier League striker too. Yeah, well, I'm hoping I can find out. I hope I'm hoping that we can see that he will be good on that, but we will see. But guys, we've done a live stream on Sunday. We've done a live stream tonight. We will do one more live stream tomorrow night, the same time at eight o'clock. So make sure that you do uh, come along for that as well, guys. But the second, uh, the main part of the announcement that I was going to make for you guys as well one second <coughs> sorry i didn't want to do a massive uh coffin fit on over the uh microphone but yes the second announcement the main announcement that i was going to mention i've actually got um my my daughter's been telling me for a long time that i should be getting uh merchandise and so on and so on uh, my daughter's only six years old. She watches like Spy Ninjas and all this other rubbish. But she told me that I need to begin some um, merchandise, which is something I've actually managed to acquire from uh, a local shop um, just a, just about five, ten minutes away from me. So I'm going to be doing a competition um, for each and every one of you guys. And it's going to be a week sort of competition. Because I want to see uh, how many people will be involved with it. To enter in the competition, um, what I'd like you to do is to, if you go on the main page of the TGR, that's Game and Robbo YouTube channel, select join. It's uh, it's the 99p every month um, thing, and you'll be part of the draw for the uh, first ever merchandise I'm ever going to do on TGR, that's Game and Robbo. So it's uh, obviously totally down to you guys, of course, but uh, it's something that, you know, I've been wanting to do for a very, very, very long time. So if you guys do want to be part of the draw, make sure you do go onto the TGR, that's Gaming Robbo uh, main page and select join beside uh, the subscribe button. And then, like I said, in a week's time, I'll let I'll be doing the draw live on live on a live stream. So I'll be working out what day it will be. And uh, I'll be sending it over to you. So it doesn't matter where you're from. doesn't matter if you're not in England, etc., etc. It doesn't matter to me one little bit. You will be the first person to ever receive a merchandise of myself. TGR, that's Game and Robbo. So to me, it's going to be a, a, a joyous, momentous occasion for me. And I hope it's going to be the same for you guys as well. 
but guys once again thank you ever so much for giving me your support showing your support by joining the live stream continuously chatting with uh, with each other and myself throughout the whole video it's absolutely amazing i do want to thank each and every one of you for that but guys like i said tomorrow night we're going to be doing another live stream at eight o'clock so i hope to see each and every one of you there for the next live stream tomorrow night but thank you very much guys oh all about football management game thank you very much dude that's uh that's amazing he's just joined the tgr that's game and robbo uh, club as well so that's absolutely amazing thank you very much for that but like i said if you want to be part of it make sure you select join and like i said we'll be doing the first ever draw for the live um merchandise that i've ever done for you guys so like i said it's uh, I'm, I'm lost for words for it to be honest with you so i'm looking forward to doing with doing it with each and every one of you but thanks very much guys i look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at eight o'clock see you tomorrow night guys here at tgr that's gaming, Robbo.